All right, this is Reality Supreme Being, May 3rd, 2011. Um, a listed presidential candidate for the United States presidency, even though I believe that's a load of crock. And I'm not going to get any national news. I've never gotten national news. Neither me or my twin since 1984 have ever gotten any national news, even though we did get written up in papers across the country. I've been interviewed by the BBC. Uh, heck, even Mark and Brian in Los Angeles interviewed us. Uh, an FM radio station in, in uh, Kansas City had a, an alternative presidential debate, of which I won all four of the debates. Anyway, um, but this isn't... Uh, primarily these are just talks because I don't have anything better to do yeah I just you know keep being damaged by by the city of Los Angeles La the city of lies Angeles because the officials here are full of nothing but lies the cops the judges the lawyers they're full of excessive procedural papers uh, all they care about is uh, upholding they don't uphold the law they uphold paper uh, fights, paper fights with words that are supposedly upheld by the law. I just came back from the courthouse trying to get out of another problem that was created for me. Uh, transmission broke down in my truck and the guy won't let me have my truck back. It's five months now. The court's just dragging its feet. This, this, this whole thing is related to people uh, and in, in, in comparative example, look at what you did to uh, Obama. Look what he did to the, the supposedly what he did to the country. Uh, like my previous recording says, I, I, I'm firmly convinced and have sensitive information that Obama, they knew where he was all the time. How could he afford a, a compound like that? Razor wire on the fence and a block wall. The guy comes from a rich family. Lots of money. Heck, you know, if I wanted to compens get compensated for a lot of my damages, I'd be glad to get my hands on Obama bin Laden's reserves. At least I'd know what to do with the money. I'd build a, a, a sh well, what I intended to build uh, years ago was a form of, a form of Shangri-La, very similar to the book uh, Lost Horizon. But the government knew I was doing that, and they didn't want me to be the leader of a, what they called a cult. So they interfere in people's lives who might be a possible candidate for making these cults. And, and I've got to tell you that, that with the Bilderberg Group in charge and all of this stuff that's been going on, these people are, are very, very ill. They have... Uh, they have their hand in the kitty jar, and they're just not going to uh, to. Uh, they're not. They're not going to let up on this. They're control freaks. Who's they? All of you. You're all control freaks. You get on YouTube. You make negative comments about me. I make negative comments about you. Osama bin Laden made negative actions against the United States, and the United States made negative actions against the Arabs, countries, and 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 you've got the Jews fighting with the Arabs, and the Arabs fighting with the Jews, and and then and, and pretty soon it's going to be the Mexican fighting the blacks, and the blacks fighting the Mexicans, and the whites fighting everybody else, and the whites claiming it's reverse discrimination, and on and on and on. You know, you people are so full of bull crap. You know, the reason that things don't work is because you're full of bull crap. That's it. As a matter of fact, I won't give you the privilege of calling you an a-hole because everybody's got one. The ones that don't have the a-hole, that aren't able to get rid of it, those are the ones you got to watch out for because they are full of it. Okay? And they can't get rid of it. And if you think I'm kidding or joking, this isn't a joke. You're looking at a guy who 30 years of my life was destroyed by the city of Los Angeles, the county of Los Angeles, the state of California, the state of Texas. The, any place you go, you've got these eyesore fanatics who use the city as their attack dogs to attack a fellow neighbor. Now, I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs, and I don't have loud parties at night, so what was I doing? Uh, oh. Ah, excuse me, my property looked offensive, and that deserves my fence being chopped down, my 
my all my cars and trucks being towed off the private property not one finger lifted to help me let me ask you let me tell you how many people I approach to get help and these are supposedly organizations that are there to help people when they're in times of trouble all the churches except for one it was one church that came to my aid um, when someone set fire to my house at DeSoto and Hart and uh, and that helped me but it didn't help me with getting a place because the city of Los Angeles is full of there's at least one eyesore fanatic in every neighborhood over so many square blocks you'll get you'll get someone who report on someone for the tiniest things that lives 10 blocks away and doesn't see whatever it is that they're going to complain about you know there are eight planets in the solar system we left Pluto out because Pluto is now considered a king of the comets because it has an elliptical orbit it's not technically speaking it's not really a planet but let's just say even so there's nine planets counting Pluto it's really eight and there's only one that can carry life naturally with mother nature as our guide uh, here on Earth, a pretty blue planet with a lot of water. How long, with, with those kind of odds, 8 to 1, how long do you think it'll be before Earth becomes like Venus, like Mars, like any of the other planets that cannot sustain life in any way, shape, or form? You people are entirely very, very lucky, extremely lucky, in the short period you've been here, like I said before, out of five, six, seven thousand years of written history, the human race can only count for about 290 years of peace worldwide in bits and pieces all over the planet. That's not all over the planet. I'm talking, you know, two years here, five years there, ten years in this country, ten years in that country. The rest of the time you've been killing, maiming, taking advantage of each other, writing tickets, making fines, causing more trouble. Uh, you, you, you get elected to office and there's nothing for you to do because there's plenty of laws to protect the citizens already. But you still can't protect them because there's people who are still violating the law. So you make up more new laws. So many laws that they're choking people to death. Laws are supposed to be simplified easy to understand for the layman if you hand a legal document to any person on the street in the United States I doubt if I think the the, the, the statistical figure is that, that one in ten will understand and tell you what that lawsuits about but if you hand the same document to somebody in Europe it's the other way around nine in t out of ten will be able to tell you what that lawsuits about like I said before in my other tapes, you've got a country that has gone down during the Reagan era. It was an eighth, primarily in general terms, an eighth grade mentality. Now it's a fifth grade mentality, generally across the whole United States. So with those kind of figures, like my previous recording said, you're electing people to office with a fifth grade me pe people of fifth grade mentality are electing people to office. You deserve to be under their thumb and in their control because you are in their control they set the gas prices they set the food prices pretty soon you're gonna be eating trashy food if you're not already eating it now anyway all it takes is one slip in the universe that goes in the wrong direction and we're gone just like that gone all it takes is a gamma ray burst in our own solar system. We'd all be irradiated. We'd die from radiation poisoning within about a week or two. At least one half of the planet would. Which would only leave, depending on which half of the planet was hit, it wouldn't leave very many people left to extract any new resources out of the planet. We'd be underman. We wouldn't be overman powered. We'd be underpowered. We wouldn't have enough people to pull resources out. 
Now, the scientist at MIT in the 1970s wrote a book called The Limits to Growth, and their model said that even if we make it to the year 2029, there won't be enough people to pull out the resources we need in order to continue on. What's this all get to? We're supposed to live happy lives, uninter uninterrupted, unhassled, and yet, here it is 10 minutes into the YouTube and, you know, I don't get any, I don't get any money given to me. This uh, guy named Nadoon or whatever, uh, sounds very similar to a person I know at another cafe, uh, electronic cafe, and he's talking about Om and, and holy men and, you know, and the Dalai Lama or monks and, you know, hey, look, all that is entertaining. But I don't see any physical proof. Buddha reaching enlightenment did not bring peace to the earth. Okay? Sorry. It just doesn't. And it's not because people don't want to accept that kind of religion. It's just that human nature won't allow it. People are selective about who they want to be nice to. People are selective about who they want to judge as pretty or ugly or homely or not pretty or homely or beautiful you know beauties in the eyes of the beholder according to Shakespeare we can go on talking for a million years and it's not going to do any good this guy sends me a comment saying oh you should let go of your hate and all that I didn't ask for the hate your collective environment put it on me I didn't go out of my way and say I hate everybody. When, when, I, when I'm in my own element, I don't have time to do videos and do all that. I'm a private researcher, or used to be, before your country destroyed me. Let me give you this argument. You're in school, and somebody from the, the class of 30 people throw a spit wad or a roll of paper. The teacher turns around and goes, who did that? This is about hate. Don't think it's off the subject. This is about holding people responsible, other than yourself. You're trying to teach this class, so somebody shoots a spit wad, sticks on the blackboard. Teacher turns around and says, who did that? Nobody says anything in the class, because nobody wants to be a rat. So the teacher looks at all of them and says, okay, nobody's going to cop to this. You're all staying after school in detention. Oh, they're all pissed off now. So why are you blaming the whole class? That doesn't make sense. What, because the teacher's not going to launch an investigative body of people to search for the person who spit through the spit wad. So, who did this to me? Who took my cars, my boats, my trailers? Who stole the young years of my life, forcing, forcing me to have to move and move and move? Forcing me to have to rent storage places? Forcing me every action that you people took. Every action that you people took is... Every action that you people took is is all your responsibility every action it's all of your responsibilities because you all pay taxes you support the system you want it to continue on you want to bring up your kids you want but you want to bitch and complain about the, along the way about all these tiny things cities were built for people to help each other without being taken advantage of okay and to work together not to turn each other in over menial reasons and underline that word menial reasons because the next earthquake nobody's gonna get my help I'm not gonna lift a finger and if I'm buried I'm not gonna yell out I'll accept my death because I'm gonna die anyway soon doesn't matter you know there's no dental clinics there's no you know I think I made a comment about that and I had all these people contact me telling me do this remedy that remedy I don't want a remedy I want repair permanent you people did the damage your country did the damage the least you could do is give me enough money so I could take my possessions and me and get the hell out of here but you're not gonna do that because you people are just like Osama bin Laden you're no different you like torturing people, you like taking advantage of them, you like using your money to hurt people. 
and you're not going to change. Talk to you later.